Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our day number 81, lesson number 81. We are in the process of learning 80, 86 through rather 76 to 85. We are in the process of learning how to divide algebraic expressions. How to divide algebraic expressions. Let's see what we have for today. The problem for today is 8x raised to 4y cube minus 6x cube y cubed plus 2x squared y to the fourth by negative 2x. We are being asked to divide, we are being asked to divide this first expression that is given to us which has three terms. This expression right now which has three terms. The first term is 8 x raised to 4 y to the cu y cube, that's the first term. The second term is negative, negative 6 x cubed y cubed and then the third term is 2 x squared y raised to 4 Then we are asked to divide this, uh, this algebraic exp expression by this expression which contains only one term. So let's do it then. So how do we do? How do we go about doing that? By dividing this in each, each term individually by this term right here. That's the only way to do it. So we have eight x to the fourth y cubed over negative two x y plus put the put down plus plus a negative six x cubed y cubed over a negative two x y. This is how we have to write it. And then another plus 2x squared y to the fourth over negative 2xy. So this negative 2xy that you see there, negative 2xy that you see there is distributed over this entire expression individually. And now we have to just do our thing. So let's get going then. This 8 is a positive 8 and what happens when you, have, when you have a positive being divided by a negative? These are unlike signs, these are dissimilar signs, unlike sign, or if you like, dissimilar signs. The signs are not similar. Dissimilar, unlike as in dissimilar. This is positive, this is negative. And it says right here that when you have to divide, division of the two dissimilar unlike sign is negative. In other words, positive divided by negative is negative. Negative divided by positive is negative. So, eight, positive 8 divided by negative 2 is going to be negative 4. Because 2 is going to cancel out with 8, it's going to become 4. So, that takes care of that part. Then we go on to our x being our x to the 4th. Our x to the 4th, right here, being divided by x x to the 4 divided by x is same as x times x times x times x over x and of course we know that one x is going to drop out and we're just going to left with x cubed that's what's going to happen here and how do we show it in a grown-up method well like this This x is going to drop out, and this x to the fourth is going to become x to the third. Then we have y cubed divided by y, y cubed divided by same thing, y cubed divided by y is simply y squared. And how do we show it one more time? Like this. This y drops out, and the cube becomes second power. y drops out, and the cube becomes second power. So Keep track of the things that we have here. It looks messy, but keep track of it. We have 4x raised to the third power, y raised to the second power. That's our first answer. Negative 4 
positive 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4 x to the third power and y to the second power. So that takes care of the first term. Let's move on then. Here we have negative being divided by negative. Negative divided by negative is positive. Negative divided by negative is positive. That's all. Now what would have happened? Well, what would happen when we divide 6 by 2? 6 divided by 2 is just 3. That's just 3. And then we have x cubed divided by x. x cubed divided by x is x squared x cubed divided by x is x squared, so this, this drops out and this x cubed becomes x squared. y cubed divided by y, the y is going to drop out. This y is going to drop out and this cube is going to become squared. That's it. We, could, we should have done the same thing here. This cube We had an x cube here, and the cube, when you divide it by x, x cube divided by x, the cube becomes a square. I want you to get in the habit of doing that, like that. That's all. So we have x squared and y squared. And negative divided by negative, negative divided by negative is positive. It says right there, division of two, division of two like sign, like sign as in similar sign similar signs and here dissimilar signs unlike unlike as in dissimilar here we have similar signs negative and negative negative divided by negative is positive positive divided by is positive same exact rule applies when they are being multiplied negative times negative is positive positive times positive is positive as, as long as they are like terms as, as long as they are like sign whether you're dividing or multiplying, it doesn't matter. It's going to be positive. The product of two like signs is positive. Division of two like signs is positive. Product of two unlike signs is negative. Division of two unlike signs, two dissimilar signs is negative. So enough of that. So here we have 3, x squared, y squared. So that takes care of that part. Let's move on to the next one then. Here we have a positive 2, here we have a positive 2, here we have a negative 2, positive divided by negative is going to be negative, and the 2 cancels out. x, x squared divided by x, that means this x is going to go and the 2 is going to disappear, it's going to become power of 1. y, y to the 4 divided by y, y is going to disappear, the power is going to become 3. So we are left with x, we are left with x right here, times y, y cubed, that's it. That's it. Let me verify this thing. Make sure that we have the same exact thing. We are on the same wavelength. Negative 4, positive 3, and a negative 1. x cubed y squared, x squared y squared, x times y cubed. For some strange reason, I have 2 thirds in my notes here. But that obviously is wrong because in order for it can't be two thirds because it's just two divided by two, it's one. It's two 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 cancel out each other. That's this is wrong. Anymore. So it's x time. That's it, that's your answer. That's our answer for today. And that is the end of our lesson. I'm gonna wrap it up. I will see you tomorrow on day number 82. Day number 82. Okay? See you tomorrow. Bye bye.